Hey, buddy, this is Leo with Skylink. Thanks so much for joining today. I'm excited to talk with you guys about how to use Litchi for aerial orbital missions. So Litchi is compatible with all the Mavic lines, both original and the two, as well as the Phantom 3, 4, all those models, the Inspire 1 and 2, and even the DJI Spark, so pretty much most DJI drones. All right, so let's jump in Litchi here. Once you're inside, enter the orbit mode by pressing the flight mode icon at the top left and select orbit. Then once you're on your screen here, go ahead and find the property or, or your subject that you'll be flying around to click on it and then click the blue camera icon to pull up your orbit settings. Uh, here's where you'll adjust the altitude um, first. So go ahead and, and select that. It's obviously going to be dependent on your mission and what your goals for the orbit are. You can also use the plus and minus signs on the right side to set that uh, depending on you know which altitude you're going for. Um, and then select your radius. Um, obviously, you know, the more feet that you go with, the longer your radius is going to be and the longer the orbit will take. Uh, you can adjust speed here to go either faster or slower depending on, you know, if you're taking an image orbit, if you're taking a video orbit, probably best to go somewhere in the middle. Uh, then you can select your entry point. Normally, I just go with nearest, just a little bit faster, depending on where your drone's taking off and starting from. Uh, and then the heading mode, uh, you can also set the rotation anti-clockwise or clockwise and then the gimbal either manual or auto when the gimbal control is set to auto um, it's going to just cause the gimbal to point at the orbit center automatically if you do set it to manual you as the user are going to have to control the gimbal manually and here's where you're going to set your subject height just try to get that as close as possible to the actual subject height it's going to cause you to you know make sure you get the full subject in frame and then from there you can press start um, and you'll see the drone starts to move to the location, the starting point. If you had it set to nearest, it's going to go ahead and find the nearest point on that orbit um, and begin uh, begin the orbit. Um, so the orbit parameters and the camera settings can be ad adjusted in real time. So if you start your orbit and you realize that um, that it's not necessarily you know how you want to be flying or the footage that you're trying to capture you can go ahead uh, press that camera icon or the setting the camera settings button below the camera shutter button and you can adjust those in real time so here's where you're going to set the photo settings you can either do the one shot where you manually are taking images as you want on the orbit or you can set it to an interval time frame um, so that it's consistently taking images every two to three or five seconds, depending on what you what your goal for the mission is. Also, that top slider icon right there, you can switch from photo to video mode, um, again, simultaneously during the flight. Um, so, you know, here now we've changed it to video. Uh, we can adjust these video settings here, um, depending on, you know, the output we want. We can go ahead and change that there. And yeah, once you have everything set, your drone's going to continuously fly around the orbit that you've, uh, you know, set in your parameters. And uh, you can, you know, toggle images, video, um, just those settings and essentially capture as much data and, and footage as you need. And when you're ready to stop your orbit, go ahead and press the red square button on the left side of the screen. And then you can start flying your drone back manually to where you took off to your home point. And there you have it. That's how we use Litchi for orbit missions. Mm -hmm.